Now today we're going to be adding and subtracting rational expressions and in adding and subtracting rational expressions we follow this formula for fractions with different denominators. Say we have a over b plus or minus c all over d. It will be a times d plus or minus c times b all over b times d. So this is the formula in adding and subtracting of uh, fractions with different denominators. Now for problem number one, we don't need to worry about using the formula because the denominators are just the same. So if I have u minus v all over 8v plus 6u minus 3v all over 8v, we simply copy the denominator and combine the numerator by addition. So we have u minus v plus 6u minus 3v. And by combining like terms, we'll have u minus v plus 6u minus 3v all over 8v. Now in uh, rational expressions, Usually, we just simplify the numerator and leave the denominator in its factored form or in simplest form. So in this case, we will combine u and 6u, which gives us 7u, and v and negative 3v, which will give us negative 4v. So this is 4, and this is the letter d, and 8v. And since there's no more terms that we could simplify, this will be the sum of problem number one. Now for problem number two, notice that the denominators are different, so we're going to be using this formula in adding number three. So if I have three all over x plus seven plus four and x minus eight, by using the formula, I will multiply 3 and x minus 8 plus 4 and x plus 7 all over x plus 7 and x minus 8. Now by simplifying the, the numerator, we'll have 3x minus 3 times 8 is 24 plus 4x plus 28 all over x plus 7 and x minus 8. Now the numerator can still be simplified by combining like terms so we will combine 3x and 4x which is equal to 7x and negative 24 and positive 28 which will give us positive 4 all over x plus 7 and x minus 8. And this is our sum for problem number three. Now for problem number five, we're going to start. We'll have number five of six all over x minus one minus five x all over four. Notice that the denominators are not the same, so we're going to be using the same formula. We will combine six and four minus 5x and x minus 1 all over x minus 1 and 4. So 6 times 4 is 24 and we distribute negative 5x to x minus 1 so we'll have negative 5x squared plus 5x. Remember that you're subtracting that's why the signs will be changed and the bottom will just be 4 and x minus 1. And to change our numerator to its standard form, we can rewrite it as negative 5x squared plus 5x plus 24 all over 4 times x minus 1. And this is now the difference between the two rational expressions. And for the last problem, we have number 7, which is... 7 over 3 minus 8 all over 12x minus 8. Using the formula, we'll have 7 times 12x minus 8 minus 8 
times 3 all over 3 times 12x minus 8 and by simplifying we will distribute this so 7 times 12 is equal to 84 x minus 7 times 8 is 56 minus 24 all over 3 and 12x minus 8 and by combining this we'll have 84 x minus 80 all over 3 times 12x minus 8 now before we finalize our answer notice that our numerator can still be factored out as well as 12x minus 8 by its GCF and the greatest common factor of the numerator is 4 and the denominator is 4 so by modifying this equation um, expression we can take out 4 outside and we are left with 21 X minus 20 inside and 12x minus 8 the factor or greatest common factor of that would be 4 and you are left with x minus 2 and by cancelling the common term our answer or final answer will be 21x minus 20 all over 3 times x minus 2 and this is how we added subtract rational expressions.